Hey weirdos on Facebook, I have never done a live Facebook uh, video before, but I thought I'd use this as an opportunity to do so. And also, because uh, I wanted to share something with you, I'm going to put this in tonight's podcast. But this is so important, I think, just by itself, that I wanted to share it with you in a separate video, which I might be able to share later on on YouTube and, and share this elsewhere. But here's the, uh, here's the email I received from Lindsay. She says, first of all, love the show. It really connects with me. I've long held a belief that the world is so much greater and so much stranger than many of us realize. And I love hearing about others' experiences in that area. That said, my reason for writing today is actually to express my appreciation for your approach to mental health issues, specifically depression, but also addiction. I've suffered from both, as is all too common. I found that substance abuse was the only cure for my immovable feelings of hopelessness and despair. With help, though, I've been clean for three and a half years now. I'm doing well, though I have long since accepted that this is something I will struggle with for the rest of my life. However, prior to the last three and a half years, I spent a decade of my life addicted to drugs. I'm only 28 now. The last two years of that were spent using literally anything I could to numb myself through opiates, uh, though opiates were my main addiction. As a result, I was injecting heroin every day. My survival through that dark time was something like a miracle. In fact, I was barely revived by paramedics after an overdose, though that's a story for another time. Unfortunately, over the years, I've lost several dear friends that were not so lucky. I write all of this not for shock value or sympathy, but in an attempt to convey how much I appreciate your understanding of issues like these, as well as the message of hope you deliver. Years ago, I saw no other path or future for myself. I couldn't imagine my life any other way. In addition, I was crushed by the shame and secrecy of my situation and felt that no one could possibly understand or accept my day-to-day -day existence. I would not wish those feelings on anyone, but sadly there are many who know that state of mind all too well. I cannot express how much it means to me to hear you trying to get through to people who need help, and in such a compassionate and understanding way. I can only hope it'll make the path out of the darkness easier to follow for those who hear. Thank you is not enough, and please keep doing what you're doing. Signed. Lindsay. What an amazing email, right? Um, Lindsay, it took me a few brain cells to figure out how to reply to this. Uh, what an amazing email. Uh, I am both grateful that you found help. Uh, also sad, though, that uh, you had to go through all of that in the first place. It's, it's cliche for uh, people to say, you know, what only what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. And I'm not really sure that I buy into that. But I will say, that God can use what you've been through to help others. Um, I don't know where you're, where you li where you live in in your spiritual life, but um, I mean you've been through this, all right. You found help, um, and while it is a daily struggle, and you admit that, that in itself is a victory. Uh, don't be surprised if someday soon, if it's if it hasn't already happened, somebody's going to come into your life and need the exact advice from somebody like you who has been there and can hold their hand in the next step towards recovery. So thank you for this beautiful email. It shows how much uh, organizations like IFRED and the, uh, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, uh, how, how much they're needed, how important they are. Um, this world's a lot darker than uh, some people want to admit. But on the flip side, it's also a lot brighter than many realize if they would just find a way to be lifted out of the darkness. And hopefully your email will do that today. Thanks, Lindsay.